A father seeking answers tonight from Dothan High School administration and Dothan City Schools after his son was physically assaulted by another student a month ago. Our Courtney Chandler sat down this morning with that father and spoke with him about this incident. Courtney's live at Dothan. Courtney, good evening. The, the father's been seeking answers for months now, but very little's happened, right? Yes, man, and because little has been done, he's had to take matters into his own hands in order for his voice to be heard. Their protocol that's in their school book says that they're supposed to contact a resource officer, which they did not do. They're supposed to contact the parents, parents, which they did not do. And they're supposed to write a report, which they did not do at the time of this incident. It's the disappointment and frustration from Pastor Darian Reed after his son Darian was assaulted by another Dothan High School student one month ago. The altercation stemmed from a basketball game during PE after Darian accidentally hit the student. We have a video, and in the video, it shows the young man walking up on my son, and my son caught off guard, and it shows him getting hit in the face. And that was the moment that when my son was trying to call me, um, the phone was knocked out of his hand. School officials said the matter would be taken care of after spring break, but nothing was done. And the student who assaulted Darian was still in school. Cameras were around the area where the fight happened, but nothing was recorded. Pastor Reed seeks answers from Dothan High and DCS because he says safety should be the number one priority in schools. It seems like the ball has been dropped, and so we are disappointed, you know, in the Dothan City School. Um, but we will be making some decisions this next school year, you know, about, you know, where, where we want to go moving forward. And I reached out to Dothan High School this morning, but they were unavailable at the time. And I also reached out to DCS um, S Director of Safety and Security, Scott Falk. He told me that this incident is still under investigation, and he didn't really want to release any details at this moment. Reporting live here in Dothan, Courtney Chandler, WDHN News 18. All right, Courtney, thanks for that update tonight. In